Hey everyone, welcome back to Aussie Arvos. This week we've got something very special. Now, it's been going on for a while between myself, the boys, mostly James, the whole patrol, to buy a patrol, not to buy a patrol thing. I was going, nah, they're not that good. They're not as good as everyone says, James, just to annoy him. And uh, so while fixing the wiring in his, he said, drive it. So I drove it for two days. And on the third day, I bought a patrol. So this is my brand new, old 1989 GQ Patrol. It's a TB42 petrol auto, which will upset all the uh, TD42 guys. But I got it for a good price and it is immaculate. So this is original paint, um, which is in pretty good nick for its age. I think it's called Ultra Red. Definitely pops. Um, pretty much factory. It's standard height, standard wheels. The only aftermarket things are an LPG setup and a long range petrol tank. It's got a factory bull bar, side steps, tow bar. Yeah, it's, uh, it's grandpa spec. So one feature that the interior of this car has that I immediately fell in love with is the sway bar disconnect under the dash, which a fair few of the early model patrols had. Um, it's great, as I was showing Patrick before. Um, makes a huge difference in the articulation. For stock suspension, I think it's pretty impressive. Um, we may be doing a lift at some point, we'll see. Um, yeah, as I said, auto, it's pretty basic, factory radio, yeah, it's um, untouched other than that. <laughs> so here under the bonnet, we have the amazing TB42. Um, some people love them, some people hate them. I am not gonna judge it yet because I started this car, got it running and drove it home about 500 meters. <laughs> so <laughs> I will give you a review once I drive it on the road. Um, no Red Joe as of yet, so there's a few little things to fix up and get it going. And then um, after the roadie and the Red Joe, we might be on to a few minor improvements. Uh, yeah, other than that, under here, completely factory, other than the LPG setup, which um, runs good on gas, for, well, I think it does. And uh, yeah. So other than that, there's not really much to say. The car is so so close to stock that there's not a huge amount to talk about. Um, future modifications might be a small lift, some slightly bigger tyres. You've got to put muddies on a GQ, or so I'm told. <laughs> um, and other than that, uh, yeah, see how the motor goes, and we'll we'll uh, go on mods from there. Um, yeah, so let's take it. We'll take it for a little drive around the block here and show you guys the sway bar disconnect and how that all works. And so this is with the rear stabiliser or sway bar connected. As you can see, a fair bit of wheel spin, but eventually that big LSD did pull it up. Now we've disconnected the rear sway bar. And we'll go up the same hill, just walking. Diesels, obviously. You can just walk 
Hamburg hat er ist nichts. So why did I actually buy this car? Well, I knew the owner, it came up for a good price. I was looking for something I could tow with that's also a good four-wheel drive, but I mean you really can't go past these things. The drive line's pretty much unbreakable. It's, it is, like I said, it's a petrol, so we'll see how we go with that. There's always the option of changing it, that's not impossible. Yeah, so as a tow car and a four-by, bit of a bit of a setup in the back, maybe roof racks, um, yeah, lift tyres, maybe some bar work down the line and yeah, should be a pretty capable old rig. <laughs>